Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a gradient and then I'm going to stamp over it. These are two polishes I just recently got. I'm going to start off with Nail Teaks Formula 2 as my base coat. It is what I have to use now to keep my nails from peeling and all that good stuff. And I'm capping my end. And here is one of the polishes. I cannot pronounce it. I looked it up. I tried. I can't do it. So I'm capping my end first because it's just one of them polishes that I deemed needed it. And I'm going to go in and do my first coat. And this is a beautiful light pink hollow. And it's got the most wicked blue green yellow shimmer to it. You can see it. I'm so thrilled it showed up on camera. I'm going to go in with that second coat and just, you know, if I'd have thought about it, I would have realized I only needed one coat to do the gradient, but you know, habits. So I've got that two coats done. Now I'm going to put some posh top coat on it and get it to dry down so that I can do my gradient without pulling up that base color. Look at that. Look at that flash. I love the blue, yellow, green. It's so cool. Oh, love it. And I'm being sure to cap my tip on my nail with the top coat. Um, got to get Woody out because you guys know he's got to come out every time. Every time. He's my buddy. So here we go. we got our nice base down and it's going to get all dried down. Now I'm going to apply some liquid latex and I'm gonna, just going to tell you before you say, oh, there you go. You've already seen it. I'm sorry. What had happened was, let's see, I had um, tried to get a glob off of my brush and then I wiped it and now it's all fanned out. So we're going to have to work on that. But you know, an impatient nail polish girl is just not going to wait on that stuff. We're going to work with it because I can't be having that stringy stuff. And this is Listening Glows, Queen Elizabeth the First, and that polish I can't pronounce. I so tried for y'all, I promise. And I've got a dampened sponge, and I'm just going to make a two color gradient, kind of get them to blend a little in the middle. These two colors both spoke to me when I opened this hollow hookup box this month. And I just I was dying to do this gradient. And to be honest, I probably should have just left it at the gradient. But you know me, I've got to, you know, put some stamping on it or something. And I do end up loving the manicure, but the gradient was just so cool. And I'm going to do three rounds. This is my second round. Um, of, you know, tapping on some gradient colors. And, you know, I could have stopped at one. I could have stopped at two. But, you know, habits die hard. And we're going to go in for that third one just because we can. And, um, you know, it's a mess. <laughs> but I am going to do that third one just to make me happy. And then we're going to pull this latex up a little bit so that I can snip it and peel it off. Um, and with it being so stringy and the application being crazy, it's kind of a booger bear to get off here. I'm going to do my very best. So there we go. I'm going to take Woody and get up some of that excess because I know I have some up by the cuticle. And over here on my sidewall. Now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and just tidy this one up just a little bit. It didn't need just a whole lot, but the ninny in me makes me do this every time. Sometimes I'll film it, sometimes I won't, sometimes I'll cut it out, but I have to get that. Before I put my top coat on, I've got to get it clean. It just, that's my way. There we go. To done. So now I'm going to top it off again with Posh Top Coat. I had a little piece sticking out. I had to tap it down. But I'm going to top this one off with some Posh Top Coat. And I love, I always love putting on Top Coat after doing a gradient. It smooths everything out. It kind of blends the line between the two colors. And it's just, it's just, it makes me happy. It's one of those happy moments. So there we go. We're all Top Coated. I'm going to be using this Manisha M CJS LC 18 plate and my Nicole Diary Silver Stamp and Polish, my Monocle Stamper, and my Clear Jelly Scraper. 
I just decided I was in the mood again for some more mandalas. I love this plate. Um, the other plate with the full designs has gotten a lot of love here lately, so I really wanted to break this one out and give it some love too. And I'm just stamping this like half mandala up near the top of my cuticles. And I know it covers up a lot of that, you know, top polish, you know, that beautiful Queen Elizabeth the first, but it still does peek out from under there. So I'm happy with it. I just really, really felt like it needed some silver stamping. And now I'm going to go in with some uh, pure acetone and my cleanup brush. And I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here. I really do love this plate. And I did this design on both hands. Miss Brenda will be so proud. She, she always likes it when I do the same manicure on both hands. But I wanted to show it on longer and shorter nails. Now I don't consider my longer nails long nails. They're just longer. And I don't really consider my short nails really that short. They're short for me. But they're not like super short. But they're pretty short. I do really like being able to show the designs that I do on both. And I hope to try to keep this up on my channel for a little while, at least until, you know, I'm ready to grow them all out again. I'm going to top this one off with some Posh Top Coat and finish this one and call it to done. And I'm very, very happy that this stamping is not smearing. I don't have a lot of trouble with, the, with using Posh Top Coat as long as I float it. Um but I am really bad about going it over too many times sometimes. So there we go. I hope you like this one. I would love to hear what you think about it. Here it is on my longer nails. And then what it looks like on my shorter nails. So let me know what you think about it. I'd love to hear. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.